This video is sponsored by Switchcraft. First things first, let's check the weather. Grrr, it's super cold! Seriously, we're having a very crisp morning. Luckily, I have this cozy fluffy robe. The best thing ever. I live in this one. As you can see, it's a bit misty, but I can also see some blue skies. So I'm thinking the mist will lift up and we're gonna have a beautiful day. Fingers crossed. Today we're doing a day in my life. It has been a super requested video for years, but I was always hesitant to make it. Because I always thought my days are just not as exciting. They're pretty average and you may find me boring. But still, now I'm like, no, maybe my life is simple. I don't live in New York, LA or other popular cities. I don't go to parties, influencer events, none of that. But this is my place. The green fields, the singing birds and deep blue ocean. And if you really think about it, that is pretty spectacular to me. So welcome to a day in my life. It's currently 7 and I'm drinking a glass of water with a few drops of liquid chlorophyll. Cheers! Oh hello! This little baby has been waking me up at 5 a.m. every morning. She jumps on the bed, which is very sweet, but then starts meowing until I let her out in the garden. Then I go back to bed and some days I would fall asleep again and the other days I would just lay there like an owl with eyes like this. But how can you be mad at this little cutesy? I would stay awake all night for her if needed. Okay, now it's time for your breakfast. While Tenny is munching on her breakfast, I'm gonna empty the dishwasher. The ideal thing to do now would be to get dressed in something sporty and do a workout. The reality, however, is a bit different. And I'm gonna be very honest with you guys, I haven't been working out lately at all. I used to be so good at doing some pilates, yoga, or even HIIT training first thing in the morning, but I'm just not there right now. I do love going on hikes, bike tours, long walks, but training at home, no thanks. It is what it is. But one thing that I've been really enjoying is playing this epic game called Switchcraft, which is also the sponsor of today's video. Here I'm just starting the game and uh, I can't wait to see how the story evolves. Basically Switchcraft is a game where you have to match jewels to solve the puzzle and progress in the story. There are thousands of these magical match three levels within the game, but match three puzzles are just one fun part of the adventure that is Switchcraft. It is so much more. Switchcraft is a graphic novel style mobile game. Imagine mixing a fun game with reading an epic mystery novel and watching a binge-worthy series. I know, amazing. I feel like Switchcraft literally teleports me into the world of magic. It is such a gripping mystery story about modern day witches with you, Bailey, as its protagonist. So Bailey is a freshman at the top Witchcraft Academy. Her best friend Lydia has disappeared and she needs her help to solve the mystery. There's more than 400 choose your own adventure options so you get to decide how the story flows. Your choices are crucial for getting to the bottom of this mystery so you gotta choose Wise. I love how the aesthetic resembles modern graphic novels with detailed hand-painted visuals. And also the story features more than 85 characters from a wide variety of cultural backgrounds as well as disabled and LGBTQ plus representation which we love. I'm currently at the level 21 and at this point I feel like this guy could have something to do with the disappearance of Lydia. Professor Shurazi. Are you hiding something? What do you think? Let me know who your suspect is in the comments. Join me on this fun adventure. Download and play Switchcraft for free and and unlock the magical mystery. I'll leave a link in the description box. Make sure to check it out and use my link because it really helps my channel. Check it out. I'm now going to relax and play Switchcraft for a little while until we continue with my day. I'm gonna make myself some tea. I always drink herbal teas in the morning and today I chose this one. It is called Sweet Dreams Tea. I've been drinking it in the mornings and it does not make me sleepy. I mean, it's just chamomile and cinnamon. Pretty standard. 
I got these mugs from my mom for Christmas. The design is so pretty with bees. I love the colors. Gorgeous, gorgeous mugs. I usually drink one to two cups of herbal tea like this before breakfast. Normally, I would now do some editing, looking just like this. I would say this is one of the biggest perks of my job. I wake up, make some tea, sit here, boom, I'm ready to work. Before, I was working in a bank slash insurance company and boy, it takes time to get out of the house. To get ready, eat breakfast, leave the house, come to work, it's one to two Hours. Here it takes 10 seconds just to walk to my desk. I can stay in my PJs looking like poo poo, no one cares. Anyway, usually now I would do some editing, but since today my job is kind of filming, I'm gonna skip the editing part, I'm not gonna work on my PC. Instead, I'm gonna use the time and make myself look a bit more presentable for you. If I tell you that I've probably done makeup less than three times this year and it's April, yeah, I know, I love it. I mean, I love makeup, but I've just been embracing the natural look lately, AKA I was lazy. But okay, today I wanna look a bit more fresh, so let's do this real quick. I haven't changed my everyday makeup routine in five to six years. Admire people who are constantly switching up their look. Hair, makeup, hair, I haven't changed my hair in 20 years. Fun fact, I don't know if you guys know, but growing up, I always had shorter hair, like up to here. When I was 17, 18, that's when I started to leave my hair grow a bit longer. I saw somewhere that instead of applying blush here, you should go more here, so that it kind of lifts the face. Let's see. I think I applied too much. Blend it out. See, this is what happens when I'm experimenting with makeup. No wonder I never do it. It's for the best. Makeup done, it's 10 o'clock, it's breakfast time. Let me just finish the tea first. I'll use a butternut squash, an onion, and some herbs and spices to make a soup. Ta-da, this soup is so easy. Two ingredients, some spices, done. Let's add a little bit of pepper, smoked paprika, and some thyme. The soup is done, luckily, because I'm getting pretty hungry. It is so creamy, like MasterChef material. I'm gonna top it with some olive oil for healthy fats and some sunflower seeds for that yummy crunch. I only have a few left. I need to buy them ASAP. Finished, let's eat. I'm gonna eat outside on the terrace. I'm sorry for the plain background. I mean, it is just white, just walls. But if I would turn the camera the other way, look, a little bit of sun, a little bit of shade, it's a mess for filming. But hey, can you hear the sound effects? Those are pretty amazing. Background boring, the sound's paradise. And if I really wanted, I could add some decor right now. Nah, we like it plain. Okay, taste that. A bit spicy, quite a lot of thyme in here. But herbs are healthy, so we take it. While eating the soup, I'm gonna do a little gratitude exercise. Do it with me. Think about 10 things that you're grateful for. Also, how cute is this notebook? Adorable. Soup was delicious, but I also want a blueberry chia collagen smoothie. This one slaps, I have it every single day. Finito, boom. So we've been doing some renovations in the house and consequently I had to put all my clothes into this spare bedroom. It is a complete chaos. I am a type of person that thrives in clean and organized homes, so this has been hard. But at least there's some progress being made and hopefully I can move all this mess into a new walk-in closet soon. Fingers crossed. By the way, I have been filming the renovation, so when it's done I'm gonna show you everything and we can decorate and make it all pretty together. Can't wait, so exciting. Time to go out on the fresh air and do some gardening. This is my very comfy gardening outfit. Remember these DIY shorts? If you do, you're the OG. 
water the strawberries, water the blueberries. My raspberries are looking very sad. We had some last year, but this year the stems are all dry. Very disappointing. The avocado tree, on the other hand, is thriving. So many blooms. Last year we only harvested one. Only one! The year before though, we must have had at least 25. So I'm hoping that since last year was weak, this year will be abundant again. It surely looks like it so far. These beautiful flowers are called birds of paradise, which is very fitting as they look like little birds. In order to keep them very happy and healthy, I have to cut away the old blooms and leaves. I've already done it here, but I have this entire row of flowers to go. I'm definitely not gonna finish today, but I'm gonna be here for an hour or two and let's see how much I can get done. One hour later, I've done something very satisfied, but still a lot more to go. It's about 1 p.m. Let's go back in the house and make some lunch. I'm thinking salmon, broccoli, spinach, maybe leeks, and some type of lettuce. Let's get cooking. I'm gonna start by washing the spinach, chopping it, putting it into a pot, and then bring to a boil. For the broccoli, I like to cut it in small pieces and then cook it until it's really soft. While those are simmering away, I'm gonna slice some leeks. Broccoli is cooked, so I'm gonna use one of these to drain the water. Now I'm just gonna saute it a bit more with some oil and salt. Lately, I've also been squeezing half a lemon to my broccoli and it gives it that nice lemony taste. Let's also drain the spinach. In a pan, I'm gonna saute the leeks. Then add spinach, salt and other seasonings that you like and saute a bit more. Now that those are sizzling away, I'm gonna wash some lettuce, chop it into small pieces and throw in a bowl. I like to top my salads with avocados, but today I'm just gonna go for these three radishes. Wash them, chop them and throw on the lettuce. Now let's work on the salmon, olive oil, some salt, This is looking very yummy for my salad. I'm just gonna season it with some olive oil and apple cider vinegar. There we go, bon appetit! I told you guys before that I haven't really been good at working out this year, but one thing that I have been extremely good at lately is eating healthy. I don't wanna brag, but I just need to tap myself on the shoulder. This week, you guys, I came out to eat and I'm gonna eat more hair than food, I am afraid. I have touched on this topic in one of my previous videos, but I have been suffering from skin issues related to my gut issues for the past, I don't know, five to seven years. Mmm, I cooked well today. Mm. Yummy. I can do an in-depth video on what I've learned and what has been the most helpful to me if you'd like that. But diet has been a big part. I used to always get big cystic acne on the chin, down the jawline, small pimples and redness on the cheeks. I was desperate. Right now I'm having the best skin that I've had in years and it is not due to skincare or any topical product, it is all diet. I know mind-blowing it is all internal if you have skin issues it's probably related to the gut anyway let me know if you want to hear more about this topic because it is a great passion of mine i am constantly studying nutrition reading books listening to podcasts and i am 100 percent sure that food is medicine An absolute must after lunch, one or two pieces of dark chocolate. I used to be a white chocolate kind of gal and now I can eat a 99% dark chocolate and enjoy it to the fullest. We were thinking how we could spend this beautiful afternoon and I think that going for a walk could be a great idea. After that we can also stop at the grocery store so I'm gonna get changed and we can hit the road. Okay I'm ready and here is my outfit. I have this very very large oversized hoodie which says no bad days at the front and also at the back. And that is true because no bad days are allowed, only good vibes in here. I also paired it with some pinky tights and white sneakers. And excuse the mess in the background, we're renovating so it is how it is. Let's go. 
Okay, change of plans. I just saw on Facebook that a strawberry farm has opened for the first time yesterday. It's one of those farms where you can pick your own strawberries and I really wanted to go last year, but somehow we never... As you saw, my strawberries are still completely green, but apparently on that farm they're ready to be eaten. So we have to check this out. I'm really hoping they're open today though, because yesterday was Sunday and they just wrote on Facebook, on Sunday we're open, you can come pick the strawberries. How about Monday? I'm thinking the strawberry season is on, so... From now on, it's open every day. Maybe I should call. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call and double check. Sim. Olá, aqui Sara. Eu só queria perguntar se você está aberto hoje para que possamos vir apanhar do morango? Não, hoje não tem nada. Só vou ter morangos a partir de quinta-feira. First of all, don't laugh, okay? My Portuguese bad. And second of all, there's no strawberries today. He said quinta-feira. I think that is Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Scratch the strawberries, we're going for a walk. We decided to go for a long walk in a park. It must be very pretty this time of the year with flowers, so I'm gonna show you. This was a super fun walk. I love long walks like this. They make you feel a bit tired, but not too exhausted. It's more like meditation, relaxing, breathing the fresh air, listening to birds. I love that. And now it's supermarket time. I love grocery shopping. I could spend hours, especially in the healthy food stores. Although sometimes when it's too crowded, everyone is bumping into you with their grocery cart. It can get very stressful. At that time, I hate it. Hopefully it's not that crowded today though. Let's see. The food shop is done and I'm gonna show you everything we bought when we get home. Ever since we've got Tani going home just reached a new level of excitement. We've been out for three to four hours and I'm just like, I can't wait to see her. And we're back. A super quick grocery haul. We got leeks, coconut yogurt, lots of chocolate, radishes, we like to put this on salads, eggs, cauliflower for dinner, I'm gonna make a soup, olive oil, sunflower seeds, we like to put this on a salad, on soups, very yummy, three avocados, a butternut squash, kiwis, we love them in this house, almond butter, salt, zucchinis, I also like to make a soup out of these, cucumbers for some salad, broccolis, as you saw, I like to make this for lunch, and spinach, let's put all of these groceries away into the fridge, and this is always a struggle because our fridge is pretty small. Danny has been obsessed with these little sausages. They have great ingredients too, which is amazing. Mm, is it good? It's currently 6 p.m. which is dinner time for me. I'm making a cauliflower soup and a cucumber salad. Chop the cauliflower into smaller pieces. They don't have to be perfect because we're gonna whiz it up anyway and throw everything into a pot. Next, take some garlic. I'm gonna use three pieces. Just throw them in, no need to chop or anything. Easy. While my soup is cooking away, I'm gonna make a delicious cucumber salad. We're gonna peel them and then use this epic device to slice them into thin slices. This is such an epic gadget to have in your kitchen. I use it every single day. I add some olive oil and sea salt to the cucumbers, let them sit a little while and at the end I'm also gonna top them with some apple cider vinegar. When the cauliflower is cooked I like to add in some coconut milk, grab my mixer and whiz it up. I eat my dinner right here on the couch while watching some YouTube. Where do you have your dinner? At the table or not? Be honest. I topped the cauliflower soup with some pumpkin seeds. Let's see how they taste. Mmm, crunchy. It is a good combo. This cauliflower soup is seriously one of my favorites. It only has three ingredients. 
Can you imagine just cauliflower, some garlic and coconut milk? Okay, and water, but water doesn't count. It is superior. I used to think that making soups was so difficult and that they need a ton of ingredients to taste good, like sour cream and all that fancy stuff, but this is so simple yet so delicious. This cucumber salad looks small, but there's actually four cucumbers in there. Okay, they were not that big, but still, it's a lot of veggies. This is so refreshing, perfect for spring and summer days. This was delicious, but I'm still feeling like I could have a little something something. You know those days when you eat your dinner and you just kind of refuse that the dinner's over? Let's go to the kitchen again. Coconut yogurt, almond butter and chocolate, my favorite. A pro tip, take a spoonful of almond butter and sprinkle on some flaky sea salt. Mmm, chef's kiss. Mwah. It's almost 8 p.m. right now. I am gonna watch a movie and probably fall asleep in the middle of it. I am the worst when it comes to this. I only watch 20 to 30% of movies till the end. 80% of the times I fall asleep. So thank you for spending the day with me and don't forget to download Switchcraft. I know you're gonna love it as much as I do. The link is down below and I will see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye!